All right, so today we're solving problem seven and problem eight from the AMC 10A of 2022. Let's start with problem seven. The least common multiple of a positive integer n in 18 is 180. And the greatest common divisor of n in 45 is 15. What is the sum of the digits of n? So clearly, we want to find what n is and then add all the digits up. Let's just take this first like um, thing we were given into consideration. The least common multiple of n and 18 is 180. Now to make this seem like a lot more easier to finding the values of n and what like things multiply to n, we use prime factorization. 18 is 3 squared times 2 and 180 is 3 squared times 2 squared times 5. Given this, we can already find out like a few um, things that multiply to n. This is 180. So we see here like a pattern. So there's a 3 squared here from the 180 and there's a 3 squared here from this 18. So obviously the 3 squared was took it, taken from the 18. So basically what you want to do, if it's like a least common multiple, you want to have the greatest numbers. We see that in the number 18, there's only a 2, not a 2 squared and a 5. So we already know two digits that multiply to 5. This 2 squared and 5, because that's the only place they could have come from. 2 squared times 5 times, well, there has to be a 3 term here. So let's just put it 3 to the x power. And we solve for x later. Let's consider the second term. Greatest common divisor of n and 45 is 15. Once again, we use prime factorization. 45 is, is equal to 5 times 3 squared, and 15 is 5 times 3. All right, so basically it's the opposite here. This is the greatest common factor where you want to take the least common terms. We see that in 15, it's 5 times 3 to the 1 power. And in 45, it's 5 times 3 squared. The, f the 3 to the 1 power has to come from, from n because 45 is 3 squared, not 3 to the power 1. So therefore, x is equal to 1. So um, therefore, it's really 3 to the 1. When you multiply this out, you get 60. So the sum of the digits is 60. Well, no, 6 plus 0, which is 6. So we have our answer. Let's keep on going with problem 8. A data set consists of 6 not distinct positive integers. 1, 7, 5, 2, 5, and x. The average arithmetic mean of the 6 numbers equals a value in the data set. What is the sum of all positive values of x? So remember that the arithmetic mean is basically adding all the numbers up here and then dividing by the number of numbers in the sequence. In this case, it's 1 plus 7, sorry, plus 5, plus 2, plus 5, plus x, and divide that by the number of numbers, which in this case is 6. This is 20 plus x over 6. And we know that 20 plus x over 6 has to be one of these numbers. I'll just write them out here. Has to be, has to be either 1, 7, 5, 2, or x. Now, we immediately see that even if x was equal to 0, 20 over 6 is still greater than 1, over two, 1 or 2. So we have three possible cases here. So let's consider when this is 7. So like, first of all, the three values that work probably are 7, 5, and x. Let's consider when 20 plus x over 6, 7. Then that would mean that x is like, x is 22. We have found one value of x here. When 
this is our first case, second case. When 20 plus x over 6 is equal to 5, then that means x is 10. And finally, our third case, where 20 plus x over 6 is x. Once we solve this, we get 5x is 20, x is 4. Simple algebraic stuff here. So we have our three values for x, 4, 10, and 22. Now we have them, 22, 20, 22 plus 4 plus 10 will yield 36, 30, oh, shoot, 36, which is our answer.